Here's a quick guide on how to land an aircraft in Kerbal Space Program, using only the instruments inside the cockpit. First, we need to understand what all these instruments are. Front and centre, we have our speed and the nav ball. This should be fairly intuitive how this works, but if not, I'll be making a video on how to properly read the nav ball soon. On the left, we see two gauges. The top one is our radar altitude, which basically just tells us how far we are above the surface. The one below this is our vertical speed indicator. We want both of these to reach zero at the same time. See that clock on the right? That's not a clock at all. It's actually an altimeter, which tells us our altitude above sea level. The second hand is meters, the minute hand is kilometers, and the hour hand is tens of kilometers. Now that's out of the way, let's use this information to land this plane. As we come in, we'll reduce the speed and make sure our gears are deployed. Keep a close eye on the radar altitude and the vertical speed. If you're too low to the ground, try to get your vertical speed to zero and glide as long as possible to kill speed. Just before our radar altitude hits zero, we should pitch up slightly or flare to reduce speed further. And just like that, we've safely landed. Good luck with your own instrument-only landings.